Hi Floss Tube, it is Helen D. I didn't look at the date. It's the 12th, 12th of March. Uh, welcome. I hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for spending some time with me today. My pocket got all undone. Uh, two things before we start. It's super windy. You might be able to hear the wind. <laughs> if you hear beep, beep, beep and some blasting, they're doing some blasting. Um, they're building a new neighborhood a little bit of a ways away and we've been hearing it all morning. <clears throat> so, we're in fake spring at this point where, you know, it's March and there's absolutely no snow on the ground, which is really weird, but we could get a blizzard at any moment. <laughs> so, fake spring. Um, but apparently it thought enough that they could do a little blasting, so they're taking advantage of that. Um, how are you? It has been a couple weeks since my last regular video, but last week I did the market recap of Nashville Needlework Market. Um, I haven't gotten a ton of stitching done since then, over the last two weeks, because I was busy getting ready for market, and then when I got back from market, you know, I was a little overwhelmed, tired, putting everything away. Um, <clears throat> my brain was not up to stitching without having to then just take stuff out. So, <laughs> um, so instead of stitching, what I did was I did get a little bit of finishing done because I only had to put the trim on. And when I was putting some stuff away that I got at market, I kitted a bunch of things up, which I don't typically do, but I thought these are all things I'd like to start soon. Let's just see what I have for fabrics see what I have for floss, if I need to get anything, if I can sub anything, that kind of stuff. So I have a bunch of those to show. Um, and I've loved seeing everyone's kind of market haul start to show up. And I've seen pictures on Instagram and people in the comments have said what they ordered. Um, I love that market has literally something for everyone. No matter what your taste is, there's something that would appeal to you. And it's all at one time so that we can all get excited at one time. So, <clears throat> before we start in, we also have a giant stack of giveaways. So get ready for that. <laughs> um, I had two little pieces of news. Number one, every year uh, I help with Penny from The Daily Stitcher. We put together Stitch Main, which is just a one day, nine to five stitching day. Uh, it's in Hollowell, which is just outside of Augusta. If you're from the area, registration is open. So I will put a link below to the Daily Stitcher, which is where you register. So that registration is open. It's only 75 people. It fills up quick, but there is a waiting list and things happen. So throw yourself on the waiting list if you're interested. Second, Carla of Cobble Corner and I have been working behind the scenes to put together our next stitch along. We kind of needed to, we wanted to wait until aftermarket and then we want to get going before she goes farming um, for the spring planting season. So we will be having more information the next few videos. We're hoping to start, planning to start April 23rd, so kind of later in April. And the design, which I can't show you today, but hopefully next video, it will be an exclusive from Erin Elizabeth Designs. So we're so excited to work with Erin. Um, it's really cute. I've seen it. So things are coming together. Hopefully next regular video, I will have that to show you um, and get excited. So there's that. All right, so we'll start with my three fully finishes, which like I said, I had already sewn these into pillows and stuffed them, closed up the bottom, they just needed trim. So I thought my brain can handle trim, even though it was chenille. <laughs> Chenille's not my favorite, it's just a little more finicky. But I have a lot of Lady Dot sometimes will have her bits bags and I'm trying to use what I have. So I'll go through with my piece and see what color works and then whatever it is, that's what it is. Is it a pom-pom? Is it a chenille, right? Whatever it is. These three happen to be chenille. So the first one, I had shown my sister Donna's version of this the last video, and they look exactly the same. <laughs> Mine's a little bigger. This is Pumpkin Fair from October House Fiber Arts. Um, mine is on an 18 count. I think it's Heartland, but I'm not entirely sure. I finished it with this fabric. This is from Robin Pickens from her Forest Frolic line. I have that on the back, and then I put 
the rickrack just to break it up and then that chenille was actually pretty much the same color so that one is done for fall none of these are seasonal for this season <laughs> this one is called boo and it's by hello from liz matthews this was in um, a punch needle and primitive stitch magazine from i believe two years ago probably the autumn issue and then she released it as a as a regular chart um, last year i chose my own flosses i don't remember what they are i don't remember what the fabric is it's got some black dots on the back and then i think I don't know if this is licorice or just a scrap, but it matched. That's what went on there. And then the last one is Christmas Trees and Stitching Please from Primrose Cottage. That's cat hair on it. This is the one I stitched on that. It was labeled as a 20 count Lugana, but I don't know if it was a Joblin or what. It was terrible to stitch on, um, but I got it done. I had this fabric in my stash and then this green that this definitely came from the scrap so I don't know I don't know what color it is but it it matched so those are done it felt good over that February break to kind of pull some stuff out and get it moving and then I could just finish it up but now I'm all caught up so now when I want to do a finish I have to start from scratch also I switched out and I put out my spring stuff this weekend uh, and even though it's not St. Patrick's Day, I put away St. Patrick's Day because I was feeling extra lazy and I didn't want to have to get all the spring stuff out and then after this weekend, move stuff around. <laughs> I can't be the only one that feels like that sometimes. I'm like, Ugh, I'm just going to put it away. So I did. <clears throat> so those are my fully finished. I did finish stitching the one thing <laughs> that I've been working on. So whips and finished things, I've only been working on two things really the last couple of weeks. Um, so the one that I finished was, um, it's called Seasonal Courier Robin's Spring. And this is by, that's Emmy's fault. This is by Robin Pickens. I had just gotten the PDF. All DMCs, really, really pretty corally pinks. Um, so I was working on this and I finished it. I can't hold it on the bag because it's covered in cat hair. Um, so I'll just put it on here. I used 28 count mushroom Lugana. I used all the called for DMC. It's all whole stitches, right? There was nothing completely anti friendly. I love it. So on the 28 count, it says it's four and three quarters by six and seven eighths. So I don't know if I'm gonna try and do this. An eight by 10 frame would be a little big unless I mounted it on some fabric like Robin did. Um, I don't know, I haven't gotten that far yet, <laughs> but I did get it finished. I love it, it's been really, really fun. So I know that Robin has her website with regular printed and PDFs. I believe Fat Quarter Shop has them and um, Carla from Cobble Corner just started carrying Robin's charts. So they are on her site. She leaves for Portugal today. But her shop, she left her shop open just with kind of delayed shipping. So while I have that one out, I know I showed them last video, but in case you didn't see, I got a chance to meet Robin when I was in Nashville and she gifted me the rest of the birds in that series. So I'm just gonna hold them up so you can see them. So uh, Blue Jays, Summer. I really wanna start this one soon, though it's not one of the ones I kitted up quite yet. Um, Blackbirds, Autumn. And Cardinals, Winter. They're just so pretty. And they're kind of, they have similar elements, but they're all a little different. So that's that. The other piece that was kind of, I don't know if it was a new start. I had taken it with me to Nashville, you know, got 10 stitches in on it. And it is so close to being a fully finish, a finish, um, but I ran out of time last night. So it's, Mill Hill 
Berry Jam. Yeah, Berry Jam. So it's the sweet little, and like I said, this is, this is a half hour's worth of beading away from being done. <laughs> I have to do just up here, there's like a bow that you make with beads, and then there's a charm that you sew on there. So like I said, like, I just ran out of time last night. And the bow sometimes takes a little bit of brain power, um, which I didn't have at 11 o'clock last night. <laughs> so that one will be a finish, definitely, today. I'm guessing, if I had to guess, that will be a finish today. So that's those. So do you wanna see what I kitted up? <laughs> it's a lot. Um, let me move something over here. So I kitted up one, two, three, five, six, seven. Like I said, the springish ones, I just kind of set aside and then went through. They're not all fully, like some of them I have two fabrics in there that I want to pick from or something like that. So, but they're kind of, I was finding one picture for you. Okay. So the first couple, and this bag is brand new and it's already got cat hair all over it. This is the bag I um, had said in the last video that Barbie had gotten me a birthday present and I'd show it this video. Part of it was this bag, which is really, really cute. And it is from Carrie Sews For You on Etsy. Uh, and I have two pieces in here and they're both bunnies. <laughs> so I pulled out Rascals which is Barbie's chart, pedal pusher, so I thought that was appropriate in Barbie's bag. And she used Country French Cafe Mocha, which is the one I can never say, which I had a little scrap of. Oh, I lied. I have Country French Cafe Latte, but that's the one I'm gonna use. So it's just a very neutral, it's DMC. And then the other one I pulled in here that is also DMC, and I think I'm gonna use this barley vintage cloth from Lori Halt, is um, Stitchy Princess, who is from the Ukraine. She just released a new chart, and it's a set of bunnies, and they're on perforated paper, but I think I'm gonna stitch them all in that 25 count, over two, and make stand-ups because they're really, really sweet. So I will put a link to these below. So it's Stitchy Princess, Stitchy Princess Black. Um, she called them Easter Bunnies. So I will put a link to those. They're all DMC, they're very small. Um, let's see, 23 by 64. So they should be quick. Um, I need to decide what to start next and those are a high contender because I think they would stitch up really quick. Ron and Ada, uh, no, those will be on the Lugana, but a 25, so I could work on them like in the car or whatever. These are in no particular order, it's just whatever the bag ended up being. Um, next is, I wanna start Pollinator's Garden from October House and the Queen Bee, and she posted, um, she stitched them together, and I thought I had a picture of them from Market, but it'd be easier to just show you here. So she stitched them together, and that's how I want mine to be. And that fabric technically is not green, but to me it looks very green, so that's what I pulled. So Pollinator's Garden. She kind of split it in half, and then she put the queen bee in the middle. And they have, the floss that's in this is also in this. <laughs> so that works out. So I pulled a couple fabrics for that. Um, I think I'm gonna do this darker. I don't even know what this is, it's not labeled. But I have a brighter and a darker in there um, to decide on. So that one's in here. That one had a lot of flosses for those flowers and I didn't have them all. So I went through and I pulled some color and cotton to kind of match. Okay. This is another October house, and this one I probably won't start for a while, but I kitted it up anyway. And it is Vineyard Fair, 
which is the latest in her fair series. And I pulled a 16 count fog. Very generic neutral. I had to pull a couple flosses for that one too. Botanical B, I would like to start, and this one looks like it would be super fast. This is hands-on design. Botanical B, and I have a piece of unlabeled <laughs> bluey fabric. That's, it's not the same, but it's close. It's close enough. So it's that one. This one I need to do, this one will be a gift, so I need to get started on it. Uh, and it is Baking Tear from Erin Elizabeth. I love her tears. I always have to make sure I pick a fabric that's dark enough that the white will show. So again, I have some options. Um, I have some neutral options that when the time comes, I can pick one. I also put a gray in there, but I don't know if the white will show up enough on the gray. It's Helix from Picture This Plus, which is one of my favorites, but. And the last thing I kitted up is actually moving into hauls and gifts. Um, after my last video, regular video, where I was talking about kind of my market top picks, Fran reached out because one of my market top picks was um, the Annie B's stockings. And she said that she had the stockings from when it was a club. It was like a monthly club. And she says, I've stitched them all. I have them. I'd love to send them to you. So she did. So I'll go through these quick because there's 12 of them. So these are now all available in that one book. I think it's, a tw I think it's $20, but it has 12 stockings in it. And I decided I'm going to stitch these. I went through all my fabrics. I was trying to like use what I had. And I'm not a dark fabric can be tricky, right? But I don't really want a solid black Ada. I definitely didn't want a solid black like Lugana that I couldn't see the holes. So that would mean Ada, which is fine, except the white and the black straight Ada sometimes to me is very stiff. And for finishing with the curves and stuff, that wasn't what I was looking for. So I went through again what I had and I found that I had some 25 count black Lugana. Now technically I guess this is a start. I have this much done. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that I could see that it was going to work and it's going to be fine. And there's my needle minder from Jen and Carol, two tall stitchers. So I'm going to use 25 count black Lugana, which is as a white guard. Um, it's nice and soft. It's a Lugana, so the holes are smaller, but it's 25 counts, so I'll be good to go with, with stitching on those. Um, and that's all the things I kitted up. So now I need to figure out which of those I want to start first. So tune in next time. <laughs> we'll find out together. Um, the only other thing that for a gift, along with the bag from Barbie, she gave me this piece of linen of Lugana from color and cotton and it's called hydrangea it's really really pretty it's like a beautiful beautiful bright purple so I have that and I had done an order with one two three stitch before market because looking ahead I knew I would need some stuff and what I needed was white <laughs> Lugana so I have white off-white or antique white and I bet this is mushroom mushroom because I think I'm gonna do the other birds on the mushroom. So, very basic. <laughs> and another Mill Hill kit. This is one that I had on my Notify Me when in stock, and they did, and now it lives in my house. So, that's kind of what came in. I also, I haven't kitted it, but I am starting that um, 324 from Arlene Cohen, works by ABC, uh, on the 24th. I have a white Lugana pulled, I think it's a 32 count, and I'm just gonna decide how I wanna do it, where I wanna start, and she has like this layout, instead of listing all 324 colors, she has like this layout box with the colors on each motif, 
so that you know which color to use. So like I just need to decide, I probably will start lower left and pull like, you know, 10, 20 colors in that section so that I'll be ready to go. I'm not gonna do one a day. I'm just gonna pull it out and do a bunch and put it away and pull it out and do a bunch and put it away. Um, that's kind of how I'm planning on tackling it. So, giveaways, you ready? <laughs> There's a lot. <clears throat> There's a big stack. Now, for this week's, the giveaways from the video two videos ago and the market giveaways I'm all giving out today, I'm gonna list people down below because there's a lot of names and I know I'm gonna say them wrong. And I apologize ahead of time because when I was writing these down, I'm like, I'm not gonna get all those. <laughs> so here's what we had from the last time. So we had the first couple of these were from Carla at Cobbook Corner who always generously sponsors my giveaways. Then we had some that people had sent in. Then we had the market ones, which were donated again for giveaways, and then the copy of 324, which I purchased. So, two blue birds. If you hear your name or see your name, my email is down below, shoot me an email. Let me know what you won this go round and that will make everyone's life easier. So, two blue birds, Kim, Colangelo, Colangelo 5551. A Party of Peacocks, Lori Thornton. Twin Peaks, Snowman with a Bird, Sherry King 4041. YouTube, where they're making things weird, right? Um, flying Lessons, I pulled two names. Um, Rolanda Boland and Lisa Sullender. So those are those. Then from the market video, we had Vineyard Fair, uh, Chris Cook, Chris is with a K, Chris Cook 5703, Tomatoes from Petal Pusher, Debbie Domigal, three eight, uh, sorry, 6839, Gilded, Mary Lee Laird, L-A-I-R-D. <laughs> Rascals, Kelly Tadlock. And then 324, which there is um, one color correction on this that Arlene commented on her Instagram, is Family Schnabel, S-C-H-N-A-B-E-L, for 324. So those are the ones going out. Now we have new ones. Um, for giveaways, you need to be 18, so you can legally give me your address. Please don't say win or giveaway, um, and just use the numerical number in the comment, and I use the random comment picker. So we have a couple here from Carla at Cobb Corner. I always link Carla below as well. You can go check out her site. She always appreciates it if she gets a subscribe as well. Um, then we have a couple from Robin Pickens. Then I have a cat digging at something. Then we have um, a few more market charts that were donated. So, number one is the newest Prairie Schooler Santa. So this is the 2024 Santa, so number one. Number two is Jack & Co from Little Stitch Girl. This is a new market release, Jack & Co. I don't know what she's getting into. Uh, the next two are from Robin Pickens. So number three is a copy of Robin's Spring, and this is the physical copy. Number four is Maud Bloom Box. I know I had mentioned that Robin is a quilt designer and a fabric line designer, so this is very, right, it's very quilty. A lot of her stuff is. So Maud Bloom Box is number four. Number five, we have another copy of Vineyard Fair from October House Fiber Arts. Number six is Saltbox Fairy Village. This is from Barbie at Petal Pusher. And then number seven, the last one, is Botanical Study number one. This was one of Barbie's Petal Pusher's new releases and she stitched it on the dark fabric and then she also stitched it on a light fabric with the same flosses just to kind of show that if you're not into 
the dark fabric, you could do it on a light fabric. Uh, and then Robin Pickens also gave me, she had like, she's very professional. She had like a little book made up um, to hand out to different shops and stuff with her new designs on it, with her designs on it. So I just kind of want to show you kind of some of the other stuff she has. So this one is beautiful. Did you guys hear that? That was one of those explosions. Um, she has a whole line that go with her winterly fabric line, which is a new line coming out, I think in May. Um, this one I love. She has an autumn one like this too. These you can stitch on perforated paper and then this fabric line that goes with it, they're, they're the same size. So you can use it to finish them together. Genius. Here's Fall Frolic. I think I called that fabric wrong on my, my other one. So that one I own and I'm hoping to stitch this year. There's a couple more. So they're just so pretty. There's her, there's the mod. And then she has a whole line of these, like the whole alphabet. So just something to keep an eye out for. And Carla got most of those in, so if you're interested. That's everything. <laughs> um, <clears throat> next video will probably be two weeks, a regular update. I don't even think I have anything extra for next week. You may go back to seeing me every other week. For a long time now, it had been like every week. Um, tennis season is starting for my son. Uh, we saw the, the game schedule today, the game calendar. Um, I haven't seen the practice calendar, but they do have a team meeting Thursday, I think. And hopefully we'll get a practice schedule then so we can kind of figure out what's going on when and what needs to be rescheduled. It's gonna be a very, very crazy, hectic April and May. And then I think it's done the end of May. Um, we've never done a team sport. <laughs> so this is different for all of us. Um, so that'll be exciting to go to these games. So, you know, half are home, half are away. Some of them are away away. And some of them are, yeah, we can drive over and watch away. Um, so that would be fun, but busy. And I'll figure out what I want to stitch for the rest of March. What else? Library Stitchers Retreat is coming right up. Um, that's in April. It's going to be busy. Spring's always busy. We kind of went over the lull. Like, after Christmas through about this time, to me, is kind of like, whew, regroup. Another thing I did when my brain wasn't working is I took all of my, you know, the floss monster that we all just dump all our, like, when you finish something, you dump all your floss in a box. I put it all away. That took like an hour. It was a process. Um, but I put it all away and then I kitted up things. Um, so that's done. So, all right, I will stop yapping and I will see you guys when I see you, likely in a couple of weeks. I hope everyone has a good spring, if it's real spring where you are, or fake spring, if you're in New England. <laughs> I'll talk to you later, bye.